next thing we have to deal with is the hypersonic maneuvering. That's threat. not so easy, right? Hypersonics uh, is the one that keeps a lot of people I respect up at night. That's the tough one. And for the purpose of this discussion, I want to really direct our attention to the word maneuver. All mm -hmm. these threats are hypersonic. So if you know, I know you know this, but if you're not a rocket person or a missile defense person, you might not realize that all the ballistic missile threats are hypersonic too. It's not the hypersonic part, it's the maneuver part. Mm -hmm. Because what that word ballistic means is that the uh, threat will follow a predictable trajectory. So somebody launches a long range ballistic missile against the United States, we pick it up from space with our space-based infrared system SIBRS, also exquisite. Uh, that system will tell us, yep, that is a missile, that is not a space launch vehicle, and mm -hmm. this is the kind it is, and this is where it's going to fly. It tell us its trajectory, you call those tracked files. It'll tell mm -hmm. us its flight path and what it's going to hit, so we know we need to defend it. And then we launch an interceptor, and maybe more than one. And it's just like shooting trap, Frank. You know, it's these things are coming in at rocket speed. You're going to intercept them with a rocket because that's the only thing that's mm -hmm. that fast. You're going to aim in front of it and lead your target, and they're going to arrive at the same place, and we do that uh, hit to kill. The problem with the maneuvering threat is it waits till you commit the interceptor, and then it maneuvers out of that battle space or out of that flight path, and you miss it. And it's because of that velocity problem of having to close on the rocket by flying far out with another rocket to hit it. Excellent. This is a more complex problem. And, you know, one of the other things that I worked on before were directed energy platforms. Mm -hmm. And so I'll come back to that maneuvering threat for a moment. Um, the problem is the relative velocity of an interceptor versus that incoming hypersonic threat that doesn't you know, in this case does maneuver, we, that, we need to change that math and change that mm -hmm. physics. And the way you do that is with a speed of light round. Feel free to maneuver. You can't outmaneuver light. Mm -hmm. it, from the standpoint of that directed energy platform, I don't care how fast you're going or how many Gs you pull in the maneuver, you look like you're standing still. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we would place that system in space so we could get out of line of sight so we need that big horizon, 2,000 miles across kind of horizon. And when we see the, the hypersonic threat and we track it, and then uh, when we're sure we want to get rid of it, then we apply that directed energy solution and we kill it. 